Alright guys, welcome back. So we got a really special announcement. Um, I have a couple moderators now on the Discord server and we're ready to publish it. So everything is in order, everything's been tested and everything like that. And uh, we got a couple new additions uh, thanks to uh, the outlaw uh, out there right here. And uh, he's uh, added uh, his bot so we could uh, get some additional features and stuff like that. So um, I'll cover everything in a quick video. Hopefully it won't take too long, but um, the actual link to join is on the Discord page. You can find that in the description of this video and uh, you'll be presented with the main page and then you can click on the app for discord it's a little widget shows how many people are on right now like at the moment and you'll be able to um, click the join button and then it will bring you to the discord discord server uh, once you're here you can actually get the um, link from the server guides i will cover that in a little bit later all right so Again, uh, we have a lot of customization. Uh, when you are presented with the onboarding, which is a kind of process when you join a server on Discord, you'll have uh, some different options. Uh, the first options you will get is the notifications. Uh, you can get notifications for any time there is a new video for um, one of my channels, and it will post it in one of the feed channels for the categories. So. If you're interested in a specific category, you will need to enable one of these categories for the videos. And then you'll be able to set the notifications and it will let you know when something is published. Uh, the other thing that you can select is obviously the categories. So there's a whole bunch of different categories in the server and to make it a little bit more easy to find things and customizable for people's interests, I've enabled and disabled certain categories so people can uh, toggle things like the gaming and stuff off. So as you can see it enables or disables it here Now if you run into issues with it not doing that what you can do is you can just uncheck all the follow and uh, The boxes here and then make sure that when you go to the customize tab that you have these already unchecked and then check them and it should work properly It's just a discord bug that I've noticed that doesn't always work. And then the other onboarding option you'll have is for your name color. Uh, there's different classes here. So bravery, honorable, stealthy, charismatic, innovator, and empathy. Uh, so basically you have a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, each icon is based on the color that the name is. So uh, if I want red, then I can go here and then I can go ahead to uh, just a channel. We'll just go to the news one and you can see my name is red on the um, thing here So when we actually type something it will come up um, red I think too. So if we're in chat for example, we'll just go to the introductions and I'll say hi and You can see that my name is reds when I'm typing so uh, that's a nice little feature that people can have when there is um, for this customization and stuff. The other thing that's on the onboarding is accepting the rules. Uh, that's what we're going to be covering next. So to find the rules, uh, what you need to do is go to server guides and then go to the community tab and or community rules, pardon me. And then you can see that we have very generic basic rules, but uh, some basic ground foundation. I'll just cover um, the titles and then um, that should be good enough for you guys to get an understanding of so respect everyone no spamming keep it safe for work so no unsafe um, things that are inappropriate and stuff like that that wouldn't be acceptable in the workplace or schools etc um, follow discord's terms of service this is really important and use channels appropriately I'll cover I'll get back to that in just a second and then there's no self-promotion or advertising now you can ask for permission from a moderator which can pass it over to me and I will uh, review uh, the um, thing or get one of the moderators to review it and depending on if it's family friendly and follows you know certain criteria and stuff like that will will uh, give you a yes or a no um, respect privacy, so no 
doxing anything like that any th personal information of other people or yourself don't post it uh, no illegal activities obviously we don't want that stuff here it's a family friendly server uh, that includes piracy hacking etc just don't do that don't even discuss it here um, moderation so follow instructions from moderators um, if they say not to do something don't do it and just carry on with you know actually being you know doing appropriate things and following the rules and stuff like that uh, don't ask staff out for help outside of the moderation so this is really important this includes me uh, because when I was on my other server um, way back I had a lot of people DM me and constantly try to send friend requests and stuff it was really annoying um, we have a help page for um, the community to help each other uh, in some cases I might help some people but just don't be over needy and stuff like that and just try to get my attention to help you with things because that's just not acceptable we're not here to help you with the issues we're here to make sure that the server and community runs properly so uh, if it's moderation issue if someone's uh, something needs to be brought to our attention then do contact moderators and let us know uh, just not for things uh, regarding helps with workspaces and stuff like that. Uh, we're not here for that kind of thing. And just have fun and be friendly. So that's the general rules. We have a strike system. Uh, strike system is based on four factors. Um, there are an exception for rule five and six. So if we go to five and six, uh, use appropriate channels and uh, no self-promotion and advertising. We'll cover the exception in just a second. Um, the strike system, uh, first strike is just a warning. We're we'll use a command and just give you a warning. I think it will go to your DM or something like that and let you know that it's um, what you've basically done and what reason and stuff like that. And then you can correct the issue later on. It's important that if you do get a warning to come and read the rules again and make sure that you understand them. And if you don't, just ask a moderator and uh, we'll most likely be able to explain the rules to you if you have any troubles understanding them. Uh, the second strike is a temporary mute or ban depending on what kind of thing is being broken. And then the third strike, longer ban, so up to one week to a month. So the other one is 24 hours to one week. And then the fourth one is a permanent ban from the community. Now, this is basically the structure that we have. Now, some things like uh, breaking Discord's terms of service and stuff like that will probably result in just a permanent ban. So um, make sure to follow the terms of service. We're not going to, you know, keep reminding people about these things. It's in the rules. There's a rule page. Every servers have rules. Every community has rules. It's important for the users to understand them and, you know, ask if they don't understand something. Uh, now with the violations for Rule 5 and 6, uh, again, for the um, self-promotion and use appropriately, we do have some leeway with that. Um, the first one will just r result in a verbal warning, and this won't count towards the first warning strike. It will be just kind of like a friendly mom reminder. And then any repeated offenses after that violations will revert uh, go to the first violation or first strike which is the warning uh, official warning uh, appeals process you can appeal uh, it's on the discord page on my website it's under the appeal thing you can appeal and i will read it over um, not sure how often i will check my emails but it will go directly to me and i'll be able to see what is appropriate for appealing and i'll talk to the moderators about it and review the case and stuff like that uh with the penalties penalties um it is it's all explained here so ban it's uh permanently removes uh someone from the discord server uh staff are required to take screenshots before um a ban is um worthy and then permanently mutes user from all channels so basically mute is that and temporary mute is only temporary uh the other one might be for until we deem it is reasonable to unmute the person and in some cases we might not depending on how or what the problem was 
uh, warnings are just basically um, a user through the Northwest Assist. So basically it will give the person a warning directly to that person. And obviously by joining the server, you agree to follow the rules. So that's like everything that you need to know about the rules. Also under guides, we have more information. Uh, which uh, gives a little bit description about the um, server itself and my social links for my channels as well as donation and uh, my website and then there's also the invite link here and under YouTube schedule this is where I keep just a quick review of what my schedule publishing times are for the videos so you can see that here um, all the different channels here are basically listed for when and what circumstances they are for publishing. And we also have the event system set up. So if you click on events, the next uh, event will be on Tuesday. I'm recording this on Monday, or pardon, Monday. And uh, you can see the dates for the different types of content. So we have Let's Plays, and then there's a tutorial coming up on Friday this week and then there is um, more gaming and then the alternate week we have the M Creator Lore series so you can see what happens and there will be a little notification up at the top here uh, when there's an event going on and you can just uh, stay uh, stay interested, get notifications when that happens too. So it's a nice way to keep up to date when there's an upcoming event and stuff so you don't miss it and that all gets automatically posted to the uh, channels here too. So you'll be able to automatically get notifications when the video goes public and when there is a new event going on. So um, outside of that, we got more channels. I'll cover those quickly. Again, um, with all the channels, uh, there are notif like uh, descriptions up at the top here. If you click on the description part, it will list what the description of that channel is, what it's for. And that's basically uh, in coordination. Uh, if we go back to rules, you can see posting appropriately and use channels appropriately. So basically if it has something to do with uh, say showcasing content, uh, this is a form. So we can actually click on the little book icon right next to the new post. And it'll give us more information about this particular uh, channel here. So we can see that uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, criteria and stuff for actually posting it. So additional rules, uh, community rules. So you can find the community rules here. And then there's uh, about the realm. So basically what the uh, channel is for. And for regular channels, it's just right at the top here. Uh, you can see that this one is for general discussion for games or gaming games and the gaming industry. So you can talk about anything gaming related here. So um, a lot of them on the other channels are on the, each category for my channels. You can also suggest certain things like games, content, etc. You can post those under these particular categories and I will uh, read them uh, when I have time. And I might do a tutorial or a video or a series or whatever on that particular topic. Uh, we also got GitHub for notifications for issues and other updates for my mods so there's that and there's also um, voice chat which you can create your own channels and for example I'll just join this one and you can see that it creates a um, a actual talking channel here and it, we're also in the voice chat itself so you can see how that basically works like this and you can just close it and it will automatically close the um, channel over time so there's also AFK so there, if you are AFK after a certain amount of period, you can go, you'll be put into the AFK one. Um, outside of that, there's just some other stats one. So there's um, total members for the stats here. And there's also moderators. We have two moderators at the moment. And tickets, if you need to report uh, staff abuse, which is highly unlikely that there will be any staff abuse. I have pretty good people for um, moderators. I don't. I have really good faith in that they'll be really good for everything that they decide on and stuff like that. But if there is a case that there is something like that, you can report it. And that will go to one of um, either the bot creator or myself, and I'll be able to review that. Uh, depending depending who the um, the offense that it has to do with, like if it's 
something, then it will not go directly to that moderator. So you can actually have faith that it will get to the right people. And then if there's a problem with a bot or something like that, which is the Northwest assistant, then you can report it to um, the outlaw here and he will be able to um, look it over and try to fix the issue. And there's also appeals for actions made by moderators. You can also do that on directly on the website and it's um, Northwest Trees Gaming slash Discord appeals or Discord dash appeals and it'll bring you directly to the uh, page for appealing your um, action from the moderator that has uh, provided it. Now, this will vary depending on certain circumstances. Like if we think that it will not be likely that you'll do another offense, then we'll probably appeal it. But uh, if it keeps happening or something like that, obviously we're not going to appeal the actions and stuff. So um, also if it, if it's something like another, like you, something serious, we're probably not going to appeal it either. So something like Discord terms of service or um, posting not safe for work stuff, you know, things like that, then it's in the rules. It's obvious. But, you know, if it's something like an accident or something like that, then we might be able to do it. But it's really depending on it if we think that it was or not. So uh, keep that in mind when you do appeal. Outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And again, the link to join the server is directly on in the description. So you'll be able to go to the Discord page and join through the website, um, Northwest Trees Gaming slash Discord. So um, definitely check that out if you're interested in joining the community. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching. Peace out.